Okay guys, I wanted to show you something actually here um, with the solar panels. I had scraped them off earlier, okay? And I don't know if you can see, you see how the water's running down? It's like 26 degrees outside, okay? So, but what happens is, even with, I mean, you can see weather-wise, it's snowy, it's overcast, it's cloudy, um, it's actually miserable out here, but if the panels, you get them partly cleared off, the panels are gonna produce heat, which is gonna melt whatever other snow is on there. Like, now these panels here are pretty cleaned off. Now you can see how that's just melting the snow on them, okay? Now I still have to pull these panels up because we didn't expect snow as quickly as we did, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. I'll be doing that soon. But you can see right on the panels, I'm hoping you can see that condensation and it's just melting right off of there because of the heat that's being produced by the panels themselves, okay? So that's one of the cool things um, that happens with the snow. As long as you get that initial layer off so that they can start heating up, they're gonna melt that snow on their own. Uh, you know, obviously you have to stay ahead of it. Like, I gotta, I gotta hit this one again because this one's starting to get, but now it'll eventually, as you can see how it like works from the sides, and then it eventually just works its way back in and covers the whole thing again, especially if we're getting a lot of snow. Like right now, if you can see that, it's just a, it's a light snow today. It's not a, a pounding, you know, inch an hour type of snow. If you're getting that, it's like, forget it, you're not gonna get anything. But uh, like with a snow like this, as long as you got some of the panel exposed, it's gonna heat up and it's gonna go ahead and melt that snow. Now, as far as uh, how the, uh, the production is because of the snow, it's de you're definitely, your production is down, okay? There's definitely, you're not getting anywhere near, um, this time of year, I'm not getting anywhere near the kind of production. First of all, because we have a lot more, uh, a lot less sun this time of year. I mean, it's dark by five o'clock at night as opposed to being dark at nine o'clock at night. And, uh, you know, it's, it makes a big difference and we're not having as much sun this time of year. We have a lot more cloudy, overcast days, which decreases our production as well. I mean, we still have some production from that, but not as much. And that's why, like I said, I'm gonna continue to work on adding more panels. Uh, you know, like peak time in the summer, I was pulling in like 4.6 to 4.8, I think was the best that I did. But an average of about 4.6 kilowatt hours a day uh, just because of the fact, again, you know, I am in the woods here, so there's a lot of trees. Um, I'm still going to take this maple down here and probably this little spindly one next to it. Those ones are definitely going to come down. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that before uh, the spring comes and they are all butted out again. But, uh, you know, I, I need to t definitely take out some of the trees just so that I can get better production. What I may end up doing is running some other lines more over into this area and putting more panels there because it's going to catch more sun that way later in the day and stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I had I had thought about putting stuff on a roof, um, but, you know, I listened to what you guys said as far as, you know, getting up there to clean them in the wintertime, number one, and I, it's just really probably not a good idea to put them on the roof. So if I have them here on the ground, I can work with them more and stuff like that. It's just a matter of trying to make sure that I can get as much production as I possibly can. So what I may do is uh, even like set the panels back farther in here so it's catching more of the earlier sun and then like I said if I take out a couple of these trees then I can get more production that way too. Like I said realistically it's all a work in progress. Um, what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll end up getting, after tax time, I'm going to get three more panels then. Eventually I want to have at least 3,000 watts of solar. And, you know, even with 3,000 watts wintertime, I'm not going to have the production that I want. So I'll probably add on more as I go. It's just, like I said, it's a work in progress. And we're living as we're learning. This is um, our second winter up here now, uh, living here full time. So, you know, it's just, we're, we're working on it as we go. And like I said, right now, I still am using a backup generator um, to supplement our power, which is fine. It's worked out really well. The batteries are doing well. They're still like at 96 or 
as far as that goes having the bigger batteries is definitely uh, much better they hold the charge a lot better so um, that's good in that aspect as well but like I said again it's just a matter of you know tweaking it figuring out what works um, eventually I want to weed out the using the uh, generator altogether and just have solar so it's just a matter of time and working on it and you know that's what we're gonna do so uh, but I wanted to share that like I said that with you how that uh, that does that with uh, even on a cloudy crappy day and it's like I said it's 26 degrees you know you can see that uh, that snow melting right off the panels so you know we are getting production it definitely cuts down on the production with the other snow on there but it's not really that bad to be honest with you and like I said it just it'll melt on its own because it heats up even though like I said it's below freezing outside so anyway so I wanted to share that with you and uh, so you know let me know what you think about that I mean I'm sure people in the south don't have to deal with that but uh, it's one of the aspects that we have up here and I just thought it was kind of cool and I wanted to share it with you all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.